gan rifoedd maith yn ôl yn nyddiau cynnar ein planed pan rodiau'r diwiau'r awyr liw nos, trigau cewri cryf a chadarn ar y ddeyar hon. Roedd rhai yn ddrwg, ond eraill yn dda. Dyma i chi hanes idris. Gŵr adfwyn am y neddgar oedd a'i fyd ar amddiffyn y diniwed. O'r blodyn lleiaf i'r coed am fertha. O ble yn y byd y dois di? Ai, ti a ffoi ni? Mi o fala i am bopeth. Chi gael enw? Herlau'r bore. Na, 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 na. Mae angen rhywbeth mwy addas. Sy'r holli meyn ni neu fel dwad yr hynafiaid. Tormain Serenog. Herffaith. Helo, Tormain Serenog bach. Fyw Idris Gawr. A dyma fy'n hartref o'r enw Cadair Idris. Mi welai di, friwch ym hen, erir. O fala fynd ar gair ar led, mae fy mynydd i yw hwn. A gostaw unrhyw un y mae sathru mlodau i. Ar ei ben ef y bwrwyr llid fy'n hynfarydd. O na... Ui, a thai fod mor greilon. Hen wleinan da i ddim bwy ti, Idris. Felly dyma ddat gan mai fi sy'n rheoli'r tir, ac mi gael wneud fel fynau efo'r blodau felltydd yma. Bwy ti'n meiddio drinon mynydd i a brifo mlodau felltydd ar dy ben. Oop! Oof! Nid yn unig wyt ti'n hen wlenen dau ddim, Idris. Sgen ti'n gobeth taro targed chwaith. Ac un peth... Mi o fala i am bopeth. A dyna i chi y stori o sut cafodd cadair idris ei greu, ac efallai dim ond efallai, o dan y cloc feini mawr y gwelwch yno, bod cewri'n dal i gysgu'n drwm. Amser maith yn ôl, pan oedd chwedlau'n cael eu creu, ac angen filod yn nofio yn ymderoedd ein llynoedd llonydd, dywedir bod gan ymynyddoedd mawreddog y grym i allu troi di yn naillau'n ddiw neu ymwall gofddyn. Dyma i chi hanes y chwedlau cynnar hynny. O, glyn fy mrawd parddol, sôn am gan lyniad gwarthus. O ni, brint, oeddwn ni'n naddu mar yng ngora. Mae'n rhaid cael deunydd newydd cyn yr eisteddfod nesa. Dwi am ennill y gadair rhyw ddydd. Mae'n rhai o'r gynnu lleid fel antaro targed o ddi ffail. Mae'r holl y marfer maen nhw wedi gael yn dwyn ffrwyth, ysbrydoliaeth. Dyna dan i ei angen i ennill y gadair na. O, am o lygla, mynydd cadair y cam. Cadair, idris, ddych mygga ennill y gadair yna. O paid y bod mor cadair idris. Yn ôl y chwedl, gall unrhyw un sy'n cysgu'r nos ar fynydd cadair idris ddeffro yn athrylith barddol. Ia, ym, gall ddeffro, nid bydd yn ddeffro. Glywys i bod yr un mor bosib ddeffro'n hollol, hollol, wallgo. Mae un hynny neu wynebu cynddarydd y dorf na eto. 
Dim am hi at well, ni fros sio mar dyfroedd man llawn angen filod meddan nhw. Angen filod. Ti ar dychyn i byw na glyn. Dyma ni glyn. O bryn y cysgwn i mewn lle mor oer a digroeso. Dyna'r noson wyth ag es i erioed, sut i'n teimlo? Da iawn o deud y gwir. Wythiodd o tyban. A droedd eich ydi go eiria. O glyn, ti'n athrylydd yn rhoi! Bi weithiodd? Da ni'n rhoi o glyn! Bi da ni'n rhoi o glyn! O pwy o ti? Sgen i'n syniad, ond wi'n gallu gwneud hyn! Ti, a dweud bi'n gwybod sgodyn? Be ti'n dar di'r sych? Paid a gofyn i mi, dwi ma ma! Efallai nad ydi angen bilod dirgel y llyn mor ddirgel wedi'r cyfan ac efallai dim ond efallai os sefyll yn ddigon agos at y llyn y glochithau hefyd adlau sbarddoniau thryfedd beir the cynfyd. Many moons ago, when our planet was in its infancy and the gods roamed the night sky, a species of powerful giants liked to call Earth their home. Some were bad, but some were good. This is the story of Idris, a gentle fellow of endless patience and devoted protector of all of Earth's innocence. From the tiniest flowers to the tallest trees. Where in the heavens did you come from, little one? Don't you worry. We'll soon have this taken care of. Oh. little fellows, aren't you? I should give you a name. Morning Beauties. No, 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 no. Something more suitable, I think. Starry Rock Breakers. Or, as the ancients say, Starry Saxy Fridge. Perfect. Hello, little Starry Saxy Fridge. I am Idris Gaur, and this is my home that I call Kadair Idris. I see you up there, Eagle. Be sure you spread the word that this is my mountain, and anyone who comes here to trample my flowers will feel the weight of my wrath on their head. So cruel. You're nothing but a big softy address, and I hereby claim that I am now in charge of this area and may destroy all these godforsaken flowers as I see fit. You dare to climb my mountain and hurt my flowers? On your head be it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not only are you nothing but a big softy address, but you're also a terrible shot! On another thing!
We'll soon have this taken care of. And that is the story of how Kadair Idris was formed. And maybe, just maybe, under each one of the many boulders that you see, there may well be a sleeping giant. Many moons ago, when legends were born, and mysterious monsters swam the depths of our great lakes, it is said that the mountains held enough power to make a man a god, or to drive him insane. This is the story of such legends. Oh, Glyn, my brother, Bard, that result was terrible. I know, Bryn, that was my worst performance too. We need new material for the next day, Stedford. I will have that winner's chair one day. Look at my clothes. Some of the audience have just too good a name. They've had plenty of practice by now, I suppose. Inspiration, that's what I need to win that chair. Oh, now there's a sight. The mountain of the giant's chair. Kadair Idris. Imagine if we could win that chair. Oh, don't be so. Kadair Idris, the legend says. Whoever sleeps the night on Kadair Idris can wake up a poetry genius. Yes, can wake up, not will wake up. I've heard you're just as likely to wake up stark, raving mad and forget who or what you are. It's either that or face another pasting by that mob back there. That's decided then. And quickly, Bryn, they say that there are monsters in these depths. Monsters? Oh, what an imagination you have. Here we are, Glyn. I doubt we'll get much sleep in such a cold, unwelcoming place. <laughs> that was the worst night of my life. How do you feel? Oh, quite refreshed. Do you think it's worked? I'll try and recite a few words. <laughs> oh, Glyn, you are a genius. Let me try. <laughs> it's worked. We're it's geniuses. <laughs> we are... What are we again? Um, genies. Who are you? Oh, I don't know, but I can do this. <laughs> And I'm very excited about it. You look like a fish. Why are you on dry land? Don't ask me. I'm not here. <laughs> Perhaps the mysterious monsters in the lake are not so mysterious after all. And maybe, just maybe, if you stand close enough to the lake, you may hear the sound of the bard's strange poetry from ancient times past.